Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines Dating a Filipina course episode 6 on how to find your Filipina whether it's online or going to the Philippines in person. So far in the course you've had a look at yourself and if you're ready to take on a new relationship with a Filipina you've checked the financials and you've got a rough idea of what it's going to cost from the time you start looking for a Filipina all the way through to when you marry a Filipina. Now the cost is not including at this stage joining up to a dating site which we'll discuss in today's video. We've also had a good look at the type of Filipina that you might be searching for as well as understanding Filipino culture. So giving you a little bit of a basic idea about the culture and maybe an insight into why the way she does and why she believes what she believes. So in this episode of Dating a Filipina course, we're going to be looking at what, how to find your Filipina, whether you're going to do it online or whether you're going to go to the Philippines and find a Filipina. We will look at the positives and negatives of both. But just before we do that, if you're enjoying all about the Philippines Dating a Filipina course, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to get more videos. So let's jump straight into today's episode, which is how to find your Filipina online or in the Philippines. So now it's time to decide how you're going to find your Filipina, whether you're going to go to the Philippines and find her or you're going to do it online. Now, that really is a very individual choice based on probably your lifestyle, your finances, and as well as your work environment, if that is going to allow you to just take, take off at the drop of the hat and go to the Philippines, or it's something you might want to plan for later on. Now, you'll hear many people on YouTube that will put comments and they'll say the only way to do it is you've got to go to the Philippines, do it old-fashioned way because you need to see that person. Well, that's a good way to do it, of course, but the online way is also a very good way as well. Now, I'll explain first what I mean about the online way being a good way of doing things. When you're chatting to someone online, the good points about that is that you actually get to know that person quite fully over a period of time without any physical attractions getting in the way or physical interactions i should say getting in the way so you're concentrating on that person rather than their looks or you know jumping into bed with them or whatever that's all out of the way so you're really concentrating on that one person and for some people they might not be real sure about going to a country they've never been to before to go looking for a woman. They might feel like that's a bit of a strange thing to do. And for that person, it could feel a little bit creepy doing that. So they choose to test the water, so to speak, online to see what sort of women they might be able to find. Now, the typical places someone's going to start looking for a Filipina online is either in Facebook groups where you've got Filipinas. The advantages of such groups are that they're free. So you can go there and you can actually talk to Filipinas for free and hopefully you'll get to meet a good Filipina. But be aware that on those free sites, there are many, many scammers out there looking to get money off you. And you really need to be very patient and understand all the red flags to look for around love scams in the philippines which we did cover in episode four of this dating a filipina course so that will give you some good ideas around what to look for in that situation but remember it is going to take time so don't rush anything the faster you rush trying to get into a relationship with a filipina the more vulnerable you can become so for me I actually did find my wife on a Facebook group and it did work very well. I was probably quite lucky. I didn't have too many problems with any scammers and I met my wife on there fairly quick and I, we started to 
strike up a bit of a conversation. We just kept on chatting from there. And over time, I got to know her very well on the computer. And that long distance relationship turned into me going over and meeting her eventually and then bringing her to Australia and then getting married. Now that worked out pretty well for me, of course, but it's not so for everybody. It can be a very difficult process, especially through the Facebook groups. So the other alternative is that people might then decide to go to a paid dating site. Now, I will say straight up that all paid dating sites will have an element of scammers on there as well. They can get in there because a lot of the women get to sign up free there. So there is scammers. So anywhere you go, you're going to need to be looking out for scammers. But with some paid dating sites, you can have more luck there than you would on a Facebook group because it will still draw many more genuine women there than possibly on a Facebook group. So I've had people on our community here on All About the Philippines, quite a few people tell me how good they have found Christian Filipina and how they've found a good woman there without too many dramas. So without too many scammers and any problems. So I do recommend if you're looking for a paid dating group, Christian Filipina is the way to go. You can go there and you can have a look at thousands and thousands of profiles for free until you decide you want to join up. Now I'll put a link below and you can check that out for yourself. They do have a payment plan, uh, either three months, six months or 12 months memberships. So check that out for sure. Now, for those people that say, no, I don't want to do the uh, online thing. I don't want to be searching online and talking online because I can't get a good feel for that Filipina. And you're willing to go to the Philippines. So you get on an aeroplane, you go over there and you might just look at it. It's just for a bit of a holiday. And if you find somebody all good and well, but if you don't, you've had a fantastic holiday in a great country. Let's face it. There's plenty of things to see and do in the Philippines without having the company of a young lady. So for many people, that's also a fantastic option. But as I said earlier, how do you do it in a way that's not real creepy, that doesn't come across that you're a bit desperate or you know, a bit of a pervert or whatever? And that can be a concern for many people. And the answer to that is really quite simple. You, you do the same as what you do in your own country. You go to places where you're likely to meet young ladies or women that you want to be dating. And if you're over in the Philippines looking for a woman for maybe a couple of months, you might start at places like churches, especially if you're a religious type of person yourself and you're looking for a Filipina who may be a Christian. You remember in the Philippines, 80% of the people there are Christian. So that's the sort of religion you'd be, probably be looking at. And the other places you can go to look for a good Filipina is places like the malls. Now, I'm not talking about going there to pick up a person that's walking through and shopping in the mall. Although that can happen. You might see a woman there shopping and you might watch her for a little while and say, oh, it doesn't look like she's married or got a partner. So you might want to strike up a conversation with her. And that would be just simply asking maybe a direction to somewhere and then taking a conversation normally from there as you would, you know, just to try and get a bit of a feel for her. And you, if you ask a few questions and she seems interested in talking to you, then you're going to get an idea that she probably is single and available. But in the malls, you can also be looking at the shop assistants in the malls. Now, many of those are very open to chatting freely with foreigners and they're usually quite outgoing people, shop assistants, and they might be very willing to have a chat with you, strike up a conversation, and maybe even go in their break to have a coffee with you somewhere or some lunch. Now, typically people who do this and go into the shopping centers looking for a Filipina will go into the really big malls. Now, the problem with the really big malls is a lot of the shop assistants there are very used to running into foreigners. So, the curiosity around foreigners, let's say, isn't as great as what it might be in some of the smaller malls in the Philippines where they don't get so many of the foreigners coming in there. So 
you might want to try some of the smaller malls where a Filipino might be more willing to engage with you and talk to you at a, at a greater level and be more open to going out to lunch or dinner or something with you. But really, as in when you're looking to find a partner in any country, it will really come down to how you present yourself to that Filipina. So be yourself, be genuine, be polite, be respectful, and strike up a friendly conversation. Show her your sides that, you know, you can be funny, you can be serious about things. You know, show her the different sides of you. And whatever you do, don't try and impress her by making out you've got lots of money or anything like that. That's not the best way to start a relationship. And of course, dress in a nice casual way. So you don't want to be looking like a slob. You want to dress in a nice casual way, not over the top. And of course, make sure your hygiene is all very good. You'll be surprised in the Philippines how quickly the underarms get smelling a bit. So carry around underarm deodorant and apply as needed throughout the day. Now, of course, going to the Philippines and meeting a Filipina will speed up that process. You don't have that long distance relationship, at least at the start for that first few months. You're missing that step and you're pretty well going straight over there and you're getting a good feel for what that Filipina is all about whether or not she's genuine, whether she's not, you'll find out very quickly, especially if you start spending time together. But even if you do go there and you do find a girlfriend, you're going to have to return back to your country at some point. So you will still have to go into that long distance relationship online. But your relationship as such will be fast tracked somewhat because you've actually already met and you've got a really good feel for whether that is the right woman for you or not. Whereas when you do the online dating, you spend a lot of time and you do get to know each other a lot online. But sometimes that can be different to what you might find when you actually meet your Filipina. So you may have invested some months into that relationship online before you've actually met her. And then when you get there, you might think, mm, you know what, she's really not what I thought she was going to be in person. And she might think the same about you as well. So there's a few things for you guys to really think about when you're going to make your decision on how you're going to find your Filipina, whether it's online or you're going to the Philippines to find a good Filipina. And as I said earlier, guys, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. It just depends on your own preference. Some people will say, oh, now you've got to go there to meet them. And others will say you don't. And that's just their idea and their preference. We all have our own way of doing things and our own reasons. So I hope this video has given you a bit of an idea about what you want to do when you're looking for your Filipina, whether you want to go to the Philippines or you just want to do it online. Now, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, pop them in the comments and I'll certainly answer your questions if I can. Don't forget to share the video with all your networks and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos just a reminder that i'm keeping this 15 part series in a playlist on the youtube channel called dating a filipina course so you'll be able to find the full 15 part series there by the time this course has actually finished and coming up in episode 7 of Dating a Filipina course will be how to communicate online with your Filipina. So that's a very important part of the process. No matter whether you've gone to the Philippines to find your Filipina, then you've returned home, you're still going to have to communicate online with her. Or if you start out online in a relationship with a Filipina, There'll be plenty more good information and tips in that video for you guys. So, again, thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. Take care. And until next time, bye for now.